Here's the thing about Slack. It's not noisy. You just have to set up your notification preferences to work best for you. Let me show you. One thing you can do is jump into a channel, right click on the channel name and mute the channel. Definitely mute a channel if it's one that you don't need to be actively keeping up with. This is good for help channels, support channels, stuff like that. You can also edit the notifications per channel. So for the help marketing channel, I'm gonna change notifications and I'm going to choose my settings accordingly. Another thing you can do is click directly on the channel name and you'll see up here a drop down menu for notification preferences. You can also change the channel notification settings from the sidebar as well. So right click on the channel name and you see you have the same notification settings here. Another way to manage notifications is to right click again and just leave the channel altogether. It's okay to leave channels. You don't need to be in every single channel. And even if you do, you're going to get tagged or directed there anyway by one of your colleagues. Here's another way you can manage notifications. So you see here, I have a thread in the help marketing channel. I'm going to open that thread. Another way to lessen notifications, especially if a thread becomes no longer relevant to you, you can go up to the original message, click more actions and turn off notifications for replies. That will not give you any notifications when people reply in thread, but not to worry if you need to turn replies back on, you can get notified about new replies. Another way you can manage notifications is by going straight to your preferences. And I got there by clicking command comma, but you can also click your workspace name here at the top and choose the preferences item in the drop down menu. And you'll notice here within the notification section of preferences that I have many different ways to set my notifications. I can have just direct messages, mentions, and keywords, all messages or nothing. And I have a whole bunch of different settings here for notifications that I can set to work best for me in my own Slack instance. I wanna call out one part of the notification preferences in Slack, and that is called my keywords. These keywords are when they're used in Slack by anyone, you are notified. So maybe you're working on a specific marketing campaign called Marketing Campaign 2025. And so when anyone uses that word, you will get notified. And this is good because maybe someone didn't tag you or you wanna be kept up to date on what's happening on said campaign. And I also have dogs because I wanna keep up with the dog photos. And I also have my own name. This is a great way to design notifications that are specific to you. And of course, the best practice here is to get super specific so that you're not getting pinged left and right. The next time you feel Slack is too noisy, make sure all of your notification preferences are set up the way you want.